What's up guys, Andre here, and today I'd like to do a quick video on how to use Tailwind CSS within a Vue CLI 3 application. So all my experience with Tailwind is within a Laravel app, which is pretty easy to set up and use. So when I tried to use it with Vue CLI 3, there was some confusion on my part and it actually took me a while to figure it out. So I figured I'd make a video in case someone out there has the same confusion that I had. So let's go ahead and make a new app using the Vue CLI. And Vue CLI 3 was just released officially a few days ago. So as you can see, there is version 3.0. So let's go ahead and do Vue Create. Let's call it Tailwind Vue. And it's going to use the defaults. Okay, so let's go into that directory. And let me just install Tailwind normally. So let's go into the docs and just follow the instructions normally. So let's go ahead and install it like this. Okay. Let's create a Tailwind config file. So let's just copy this and let's do tailwind.js and this will go into the root directory of our project. Okay, now let's just grab all of this CSS. It's, it's just three lines, but there's a lot of comments in here. Let's grab this and let's just put it into our code. Let me open up VS Code here. So I'm gonna put it in source assets CSS main CSS. Just paste that in. And as you can see, the syntax highlighting is off because it gets confused here. But that's okay. If anyone knows how to fix this within VS Code, please let me know. Okay, save that. Now let's go ahead and go into our main app component here and we will import that CSS. So import assets CSS main CSS. Okay. And let's go ahead and run this, see if it works. Okay, let's just go ahead and open that in the browser. Okay, so here's our default view app. And here is where my confusion was. Tailwind uses post CSS, which needs to be configured and used in your project. And I was confused as to where to put that configuration. There's information out there saying you should put it in a post CSS or CJS file. And there's information saying you should put it in a package JSON file, but the syntax is a bit different. So let me show you both ways. So if you open your package JSON file, you'll see a section here for post CSS and you can configure Tailwind in here. I was confused because the syntax for this is a bit different from the syntax in the post CSS file, post CSS RC file. So all you have to do is say Tailwind CSS and then give it the path to the Tailwind config. Tailwind.js and that is all. So if we go into our hello world component and let's say we put class equals BG blue text white. Let's see if this works. Okay, so it does work. Cool. So it's probably not taking the white because it's being overridden in CSS that view ships with. So let's just make sure. Oh, I typed it wrong. That's why. There you go. Cool. Let me just show you that if we configure the config file, then that should change as well. So if you go into Tailwind JS and let's just change blue. Uh, so, so for blue, we're somewhere here. Where's blue? Okay. Let's change this to pink. And this should change blue to pink. There you go. Cool. Let me just put that back. 
Okay, so if you want to use a post CSS RC.js file, you can do that as well. So what, what you have to do is make a new file here called dot post CSS RC.js file. And the syntax for this, I'm just going to paste it in, is this. So you got to do module exports, define your plugins, and then require in Tailwind with the config here. And auto prefixer is similar. But when you do this, you got to make sure to remove the definition in our package JSON file for post CSS. So we got to remove this. And now this should work the same way. So let me just restart this to make sure. Okay, that's okay, and it still works. Cool. Let's just double check that still works. Let me change this to green. Okay, cool. And let's change the config. So Let's find a green here and I'm going to change green to pink and this should be pink. Cool. Let me just change that back. Okay. Let me just show you a few different ways you can import the CSS. If you don't like this way, you can do it this way. I'm just going to paste it in which is the import format in CSS. So it's the same as this, but in CSS, Let's see if this works. Okay, still works. If you want, you can just actually take the three lines from here. So this, let me just grab everything. And you can just put it straight in here. I'll leave that app in there. So it's just a three. It's just preflight components and what's the last one? Utilities. So you can just do that if you like. And we'll remove this. This should still work. Let me just remove that. Okay, see if this still works. And it does, cool. Or if you want, you can go ahead and remove all of this and just import it like this. So source equals assets CSS main.css. Sorry, should be style. And that should work as well. It's going to remove the app styles, but the, yeah, so it still works like that. Cool. So there you have it, guys. Just a quick video on how to get Tailwind CSS running with Vue CLI 3. Hope this cleared up confusion and hope you can use Tailwind within Vue. So stay tuned as the next video will use Tailwind and Vue to build out a Vue component. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Okay, thanks. Bye.